My name is Ulla Forgo, and together with my colleague Amy Thomas, we lead the team on dealing with creators working alongside Arthur Ellinger, Stefan Luca, and Adina Iramina. Create traditionally uh, have focused on creative industries and new business models, and we would like to focus in this context on the human at the center of it all, so the creator. We are interested in the creative labor that results in the cultural contributions. So in here, we are interested in how the law can help to sustain livelihoods of creators, their earnings, their negotiation position with contracting parties. We're also interested in their relationship with platforms and how platforms play a role of intermediaries and in distribution of cultural content. And here we'll be asking questions using both copyright law, but also looking beyond copyright to platform regulation or algorithmic transparency, as well as engaging with media studies and cultural policy. We think that most people have seen the 2023 SAG-AFTRA strikes in Hollywood, which was the biggest withdrawal of creative labor in Hollywood's history. So we've known for a while that creators are having some difficulties in their creative endeavors. However, these strikes brought to the forefront some questions that we want to answer um, as a part of our theme. So first, um, since we value creativity, we value uh, films, we value movies, we value music, why don't we also value creators as such? Secondly, we've normalized seeing uh, platforms that distribute content, so Spotify and Netflix of the world, but not actually creators. What the SAC AFTRA strikes brought to the public attention is the lack of the creator in a public discourse and their role in the creative labor. A lot of creativity is invisible, more so in certain settings. So for example, when we talk about creativity that is transactional, so it is a part of a salaried employment of a journalist, an employee of an advertising agency, or game developer, or people like us, academics. We quite often don't realize that we're even creating. Of course, there is also a multiple of creators of user-generated content, such as remixes or memes, but this creativity, even though it's contributing to culture, is not seen in the same way as traditional forms of creativity. So what we are expecting to be our biggest challenge is actually understanding what we don't see, uh, to analyze all those types of creativity in our society without focusing on celebrity creators or the stories that are reported in the mainstream news.